morning. It is day five in Barcelona. I actually don't have a ton going on today. It's just before noon and I'm still in the hotel. I've been working this morning. I do have uh, lunch plans with some people who work at Barcelona SAE here in Barcelona. That is the study abroad organization we work with when we bring students here. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. And then I don't have anything else until tonight at 8 p.m. I have a ticket to a concert at the Music Hall, which I think will be really interesting. I've seen the Music Hall from the outside, but I've never been in, and I certainly haven't heard a concert there, so I think that's gonna be great. Today really was a day I had set aside for getting caught up on work if I didn't get stuff done in the few days before. So I will be coming back to my room after lunch and finishing that up so that tomorrow, my last day, I can go out and do what I have planned and get packed and not have to worry about work. So I think there won't be much for me to show today because what I'm doing really isn't video worthy for the most part. So I think what I'm gonna do is just make today and tomorrow into one video instead of two separate videos because I'll have more to show tomorrow and then that'll be better, I think. So join me for my last couple days in Barcelona. Made it to the music hall. At about 45 minutes before the show, so I think I'm just gonna walk around outside a bit and then go inside. I am now at a tapas bar across the street from the music hall. That was fantastic. It was a cello player, just one guy playing his cello. He was amazing and the music hall is beautiful. So if you like music and you come to Barcelona, definitely see a show here. Mine was I think 56 euros. I was up in the second level. There's really not a bad seat in that place, I don't think, because it's pretty small, but it's well worth attending something there if that's something you're interested in. So I'm gonna have some tapas for dinner, then head back to the hotel, and I'll see you for part two of this video tomorrow. I got meatballs, one of my favorite things in Spain, and a salad with goat cheese. And then the third tapa I got is patatas bravas. And of course, I got a glass of cava to go with it. Good morning. It is my sixth and final day in Barcelona, sadly, but it's been a really great week. My plans for today that I originally have had have changed. I originally had a market tour booked for today, but I was the only person who booked it, so it got canceled because they have a minimum number that need to participate. Looking at different things that I might do that I haven't done before, because I have to stick with that theme. There is a bull ring about half a mile from here that has a bullfighting museum in it that sounds really interesting. There's no bullfighting here anymore, so the bull ring doesn't operate in that fashion, but it is a museum, and so I think I'm gonna go there, and then I have some shopping to do. Not a lot, it's a couple things I haven't picked up yet. I'll come back and get my packing done and then we'll see what I do later in the evening for dinner and if there's any last things I want to go see. So hopefully it'll be a great day, last day, but um, like I said, it's been a wonderful week. So let's get out there. There's the bull ring. It is a gorgeous day out today if you can't tell. I have been pleasantly surprised by this. 
it is absolutely worth an hour of time and the six euro entry fee to take a look around the bull ring. You get to see a whole bunch of aspects. You get to see where the bulls are, get onto the floor of the bull ring, walk around the stadium. And then there's a museum over um, on one end with costumes and things like that. So absolutely worth your time. Again, like some other things I've seen, it's not gonna be anybody's first priority here in Barcelona, but if you have some time and you're in this area, I would definitely come here. It's been great. When I was on the Camino, I was starting to get a cold and I went into a pharmacy and they gave me something like this. It's an orange powder <coughs> that, that you mix with water and take it like three times a day. And it just knocked that cold out. So I wanted to make sure to get some more. And I think I'm actually gonna stop at a different pharmacy and get another box. Cause there's only 10 in here and you use three a day. So I'll be back in Spain in May and I will probably buy some more then, but it's not something you can get at home. So stocking up on drugs while I'm in Spain. I stopped at the grocery store and got my chocolate supply to bring home. So I got a jar of cola cow, which is basically a hot chocolate mix, but I really like it. This is the chocolate that makes the really thick chocolate like you dip churros in. And then these are Magdalenas with chocolate chips. Magdalenas are a citrus flavored muffin. They didn't have the little ones like this in the plane, which is what I prefer. So I got the chocolate because they're the little ones. Now to figure out how to pack all this. I've got most of my stuff packed up. It's around 1.30 right now. I am heading to a tower called the Glorious Tower that has a good viewpoint apparently. So that's another thing I have not done yet. I've been to the tower and walked around it but never gone up it. So that's what I'm gonna do now and look for some place to eat lunch along the way. I just want something light for lunch because I might have a little bit bigger dinner for my last meal here. So, got about half a mile maybe three quarters of a mile to walk to the tower. I think I'll take a look through this market. We've been over here before on one of the tours I did on study abroad. Let's see if I can identify myself here. It's hard to tell. There's a mirror up above the stalls. And then right behind me, the tour or the tower I'm going to is right over there. Tons of construction going on in this area. It's completely being redone. So let's take a look. There's a little food court up here. So I ordered a sandwich from, not the churro place, from that place right there. Sandwich, fries, and a soda for $9.50. So I think that's pretty good. That was interesting to look around. A lot of junk mostly, but uh, still fun to walk through. And my lunch was really good, so now on to the tower. The sound in here changes depending on what Barcelona is like that day. So whether it's windy or cloudy or sunny, how much pollution is in the air, it's kind of cool. So if you ever came here again, you would hear different sounds. This view is amazing. How cool. Well, that was really interesting. I expected the views to be really cool, and they were, but I didn't realize they had the multimedia exposition that showed the current state of Barcelona in a lot of ways. That was really interesting to see. The cost to do this was 18 euros. I'm not sure it was worth 18 euros. It depends on how much you value a view. It was a fantastic view, 
but 18 is a little steep, I think, but I'm so glad I did it. It was worthwhile. It was the last new thing that I'm doing while I'm here. My hair is a mess. So I'm just gonna head back now to the hotel and finish up packing before I head out for dinner later this evening. I have to say this hotel has been great, the Ostemplo Sagrada Familia. It was the best combination of location and price that I could find. The accommodations in Barcelona are pretty expensive. This is about $100 a night, a little less than that, which was the best I could find and the location has been wonderful. So if I ever am in Barcelona again, I will definitely check this place out. All right, let's walk around, see a few final things, get some food and then turn in for the evening. Thanks for joining me for an awesome week in Barcelona. I am sad to be leaving, but I'm excited that I will be back in a couple years, hopefully with students. This remains one of my favorite cities, and you can see there's so much to do here because I did all new things, and there's still things I haven't done yet, and I didn't do any, well, some of the most popular things that you would do on your first time here. So I definitely encourage you to come to Barcelona. Thanks for watching this series of videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.